welcome to another episode of Daring Fables. Yay! Okay, so you guys are still at Catherine's Animal Shelter. You've just recovered a piece of a lamp post that was apparently causing all the animals to talk. You gave it back to Robin. You kind of fought a wolf, but you got him to go away. Um, Mm -hmm. And then you guys went to sleep. Yep. You were talking about something. We were talking about using the wish to warn Ripley's family. Yes. So we hadn't decided if we were going to do that or not. You have two wishes. Um, yeah, well, we're not going to use both of them. Sure. Yeah, I know. I'm just uh, just reminding everyone. Establishing. In the we're waking up at Catherine's Animal Shelter. So you wake up the next morning. You guys all go down to breakfast. Yeah. You're sitting around the table eating some breakfast. We're eating some breakfast. All the animals are kind of sad. They can't bread. talk anymore. But uh, they can talk to But they to can me. talk to Ripley, so there is that. I am a little bit. It is a little bit funny that my first opportunity to have unlimited speak to animals was when everyone could also speak to animals. (laughs) Go forth and discuss. Well, what's the plan, y'all? What are we doing? And you also have um, Angelica and Hanalore. Mara's not fully awake, and she's just kind of sleepily throwing food to Idris. Who's inside (laughs) the kitchen. Yeah. I don't think he fits. Maybe there's a window. Yeah. Idris isn't here. We didn't bring Idris with us. He's no yeah, he's like Catherine. Yeah, he's here. Yeah, you brought Is him. He? We brought him. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure the only person you didn't bring was the Miller? Yep. Okay. He's chilling at She has Lord like Howard's. Yeah, I think he's just working as a Miller there now. Like he's yep. just he's set. Yeah, we brought Idris. Yeah. Okay. I thought we had them for some reason. Carry on. Um, like Sarah would let me leave Idris behind. Mm-hmm. I remember because we checked to see if he could talk when we got there. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, um, I mean, then we would have used two out of our all of our wishes so far on Ripley, but all right. <laughs> mm, I mean, I don't know. I don't see a problem with that, but. The first unless, one was a test, so. Yeah, I mean, unless the wishes are actually evil, then I do see a problem with that. But, um. Alright, Dora. If we're working on the theory that they're not evil, then. I really then... don't think they are. I think it, they could be if you wish for something evil. Listen, alright, alright. Mara, I agree with her play. Alright. Well, do we want. Okay, so. Here are the things that we need. We need to get, and she looks at Catherine, Peggy and Rose (laughs) to where we need them to go. Let's say Catherine is out, like, feeding animals outside, so you don't have to worry. We need to get Hannah Lauren and Angelica to Lauren, but Mm -hmm. everyone is searching that port, according to Catherine. So that's exactly where they're going to be expecting us to go, basically. So I don't think our disguises are going to hold up in court. Mm. Um, they're going to hold up when, like, they're looking for us specifically. So we can... Yeah. The way I see it, we could possibly use one of the wishes to ensure that we get there without being caught without being detected right because then once we get there then like we can get them to we we can use it to like keep them safe i don't know that's just an idea that i had right i'm not sure how we would do that though well because that's it's all what robin can do with their powers, isn't it? It's not like right. they just magically make stuff happen. So we'd have to like try and figure out a way that would happen. Well, they could maybe put some kind of cloak of undetection on us for a certain period of time, or I, I don't know. Don't you have that spell? I do. 
but I don't know. I don't think it lasts very long. Mm. It is, let's see, let me look. Black, we could use that. All right, let's see. Pass, not trace. Um, it's up to one hour. Mm. So we could do that. Um, I have that spell that's like um, mask from detection. Each creature you choose within 30 feet of you has a plus 10 bonus to stealth checks and can't be tracked except by magical means. All right. So we oh. could do that, but that only lasts an hour, so we'd still have to find Lauren pretty quickly. I don't know why I'm just talking as me now, but... Right, yeah. <laughs> Who is this? Um, we... Yeah, so there's that. Okay, run me through, because we were inside and we couldn't totally hear what was going on, and also I forget. Um, um, what did you find out from that wolf when you were talking to him? Um, I found out that, uh, a, like, Japloon or whatever, platoon, Japloon, platoon. <laughs> or... Lloyd platoon. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what those are called. Um, like, a, a little bit of an orc, like, not army, you know what I mean, but that they were going towards... The mountain. Um, I don't know from Carson or whatever, but yeah. Uh, apparently, there's a lot of you know war stuff brewing. Right. Should we go fight them? Uh, no. Okay. No. Sorry, Marty. All right. So when well, you say they're going towards the mountain, fights, here's so what I'm. I'm th it's there's like, always like, been war in the mountains, like. I am concerned about my family, but when they say they're going to the mountain, I don't know necessarily where they're talking about. I mean, it's just one village in one mountain. Right. We're not particularly I get what you in mean. the middle of any kind of war zone. Yeah, but presumably, I don't know. that. I don't know what their aim is, if they're trying to get information or they're actually trying to invade. So right. that's not something we know. All um, right, well... I think... I think it's just it's just shit, isn't it? Because well, basically, the longer we stay here with Han Hanalor and Angelica, the longer they're in danger, and the right. more likely we are to get caught. Mm -hmm. So right. I think honestly, I know it's a big risk, but trying to get them off the freaking continent. When is, is Lauren? Fast as going possible. Going to be at the port, do we remember? <laughs> she wrote us a letter about it. Um, probably like a week. A week? Probably a, a week. week from now? Yeah, what day is it? <laughs> well, it took us like or a I day to get to Fairgate. Let's say a week from now. A week. A week from now. Uh, Alright, so. How long is it going to take us to get there? How, how long does it take to get to. What is it, Galena? Where are we going? Like two days. two days. Two days. Two days. All right. Two whole so days. we have a few days to camp out somewhere. Doesn't have to be here. Yeah, I think we should definitely move from here as soon as possible, to be honest. Right. Okay. All right. Um, where is the map? Hold on. Let me pull it up. So where are we going? Wolfwater or? Wolfwater. Okay. So between here and there, we're, what, there's nothing. There's, like, a little city, but it's not labeled. <laughs> yeah, it, just, like, a small town. So the river runs between it, um, between you guys and Wolfwater. It's mostly just, like, open field and maybe probably a couple small villages, but... All right. Right. No big cities or towns. There's no woods, though? No, no woods. Uh, where are we going to camp? Um... I mean, we can always go to an inn or something because I would I, like, say that, I know... um, the river and that little like uh, split, split off of the river is about a day away, and then Wolfwater is a day from that. All right, and that's do we know what's there? Do we know anything about that town? No, Marty, you know anything about what? that town? 
That, you um, know, like, between here and Wolfwater, is there anywhere that's, like, pretty um, chill Yeah, I mean, and... I mean, there's the town next to the river. Uh, I don't know the name of it. Who wants to give me a name of this town? Uh, I haven't actually named it. <laughs> Why was the first thought I had Deltona? Don't name it that. Um, and it's Deltona. Deltalina. Deltalina? Uh, that's worse. Yeah. <laughs> that is worse. <laughs> um, um, I don't even think I have a name for this river. Oh. Yeah, I don't. If you guys want to name the river. Um, let's name the river. River and the town on the river. There's so much responsibility. <sighs> I know it's uh, hard. Michelangelo. I'm just thinking Michelangelo of names river. of actual rivers, like the Wakaiva and the Withlacoochee. So the Wicklacoochee. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The Swanee. Way down upon the Swanee River. Fantasy Swanee. Far, far away. Ingrid looks like, what's that's happening? That's where my heart I'm not from Florida. Never, that's where the old folks stay. Um, I'm, I'm, no, I'm doing it's not a generator. Cosa? I'm doing a generator now. Okay. There's no <laughs> way. I think it should that's be the Swanee River. Good. It could be. I think it should not. <laughs> I want to say the Swanee River would be fun. <laughs> something that's the same it's like I definitely this. don't want that to happen though. But it's Ingrid, like you play song. the bard. Um, it's because I can't sing. No, no it's because I don't know this song. We'll teach it to you. It's really easy. I I'd like to not be taught it. <laughs> um. Do you want a French name or an English name? <laughs> I'm looking at the same generator. Do you want a big boy well, or a little boy? A little Probably boy. Probably an okay, English no, 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 name. No, 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 wait, wait, stop everything. Fair what, home Brook. Let's call it the Little Boy River. <laughs> the Little Boy River. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. What's the town? The big boy town? The town. No, no. The town. The town is called. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Like Petit Nino town. Petit no. Nino. <laughs> Petit Nino. That's what Shannon said. <laughs> Why? It's just it's one more. Like, it's like when Shannon's like, "Yo, soy gato." <laughs> <laughs> Petit isn't um, even Spanish. It's French. Yeah, well. Um. Okay, it's the Little Piquito. Boy River. Yeah. So it's like. I don't know. The town. <laughs> uh huh. I could just name it after some more of my customers. <gasps> the town should be called Second Life. No, what life. is that from? What is from? What is? What is? You want do a you big want a boy? Big you boy want a little boy? Do you want a big boy or a it's little boy? It's from Monster boy? Factory. Yeah, we know that. I know we, that. But they don't know which one. Which, little boy. Well, we just have to watch. I think the it whole is from boys. Second Life. Actually. I think it is. Because I think he's yeah, like why. shrinking him. Yeah. I think dog should vote. <laughs> Duran. It's called Duran. 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 Like Duran, Duran, Duran. Duran universe. Her name is Rio, and she. Sure. Hey, hey there you go. Friend. It should be called Rio, little boy. <laughs> Rio little That's boy. That's so many words. I think it should just be called Rio. That's the Rio just means river. river. Great. No, the town is Rio. Oh. The river is little boy. No, that boy. doesn't just sound like Rio. Like, going to Rio. <laughs> All right. And. All right. Then I can add the Rio song to the playlist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's called Rio now. All right. Okay. So Good. So there's this little town, Rio. It's called <laughs> you know, Bianca very Del Rio. small town. Rio. Yeah, this little town, uh, where Little Boy River splits off. The river is still the Little Boy River. Yes, it's. Little What's Boy the river. other river? There's two rivers. I don't know. They're it's both, the Big Boy River. It's Big Boy River or Little Boy River. Okay. It's which like the which? Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. Um, well, I'd assume that the boy, little boy okay. river is so the smaller it river. It starts off, it empties as boy river. <laughs> the The part of the river that comes down from the mountains can be big boy river. Okay. And then the other river is little boy river. So Ripley and would already river? know that the name of this river is big, big boy, boy river. river. <laughs> because it originates at Montagazza where yeah. the, the waterfall and the lake is. God, okay. Uh, <sighs> lake. Lake. In that. Okay. 
mountain. And it's the big boy river. <laughs> so when you travel down the river, you say you want a big boy, you want a little boy. A little oh, boy. boy! That's when you're coming to the fork in the river, you're going on a boat into the, like, yeah. and then you, you get to the thing and the sign just says, you want a big boy river, you want a little boy river. <laughs> And everyone in Rio is like, a little boy! <laughs> Welcome to Daring Fables, where nothing happens and nothing matters. <laughs> where everything's okay. made up and the points don't matter. Um, Alright, so, yeah, it's this town, Rio, on the banks of the Little Boy River, <laughs> right where it meets Big Boy River and becomes, and becomes Boy, boy River. river. Uh, before it empties into the ocean, which also doesn't have a name, but let's not even get into that right now. It's just the ocean, it's guys. just the ocean. Just the ocean. The ocean, the ocean, the ocean. Um, that, oh, you guys don't, never mind. That's yeah, so, so there's Rio, yeah, yeah. They're, they're right. small and nice, huh? Well, let's, I let's there a lot. take let's off go there. and go to Rio. I think, um... <laughs> we since, have our alter egos, so... Listen, no, since we've got the band thing Back together. Uh, but, but they've been seen... Right. We might want to change it up a little bit. Um, oh, it took at so least, much work to come up with these. <laughs> I know. Well, basically, I'm thinking... No, 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 wait, wait. Mara's what? more awake now. Mara has uh, drunk her tea. Mara's okay. like... You know what'll make us be less suspicious? What? <laughs> if we do a show, we can do one right here in town tonight. <laughs> That's less suspicious? <laughs> yeah, a show then we'll seem like an actual band. Right. We can advertise using Yelp. Alright. Uh, I don't we know. We just have to play You are the song. promoter. I you're am the promoter. promoter. That's why I'm saying we should, we should advertise via Yelp. Yeah, we can go to the bar, we can be like, yo, Gavel, concert tonight, aliens might be there, and then he'll tell everyone about it. Right. Then no one will that show us a lot of the performance, and therefore we're a legitimate band. That is true. I mean, that sounds heard. very fun. <laughs> I don't want to get caught by anyone, but we are in fair I saw this so the worst thing one. that's going <laughs> to happen is Jennifer Lestrade is going to come and be like, all right, who's... <laughs> Oh, what was the tapestry you saw? It was called School of Rock. (laughs) (laughs) That's it. That's the story. No, no, really. Tell me, I've never, I've never seen this tapestry. All right. So there's this, uh, there's this uh, ancient eldritch god named Jack Black, (laughs) Mm -hmm. and he goes to a school, Mm -hmm. and he teaches all the kids to rock out. And then they do, oh, like, Battle true. of the Bands. What, does he teach, like, a bunch of paladins to be bards or something? Yeah, basically. I feel like I've seen this. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. I mean, you you went to bard college. That was probably all over the place there. Uh, not really. Well, what I tapestries mean, do you read at bard college? <laughs> um... Bar college was kind of like like know, what hairspray. I love how like Chill, books man. don't exist for some reason. We all just learn stories through tapestries, and that's it. You watch the the like lay miserables up at Bard College. Well, that's why, that's why there was a question about can Mara read because there's no books. There's just chapters. There's, there's no books. There's, there's only historical information. All of the books. fictional content is done through plays and tapestries. Mm-hmm. And songs like the ones we'll sing tonight. We don't have a whole lot of concert. tapestries up in my village, so, so I don't know what y'all are talking so about. I don't know anything about music. I'm not a bard, but the, I got a, an idea for a song. All right. So it's very simple. We, it's because we're the blink dogs, right? Right. So we go na 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 blink dogs. <laughs> hey, slow down! That's, You're the promoter, I mean, that, not the producer. That's, <laughs> that's me. Intro. <laughs> I, <laughs> I guess. I'm picturing Mara saying this, and it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> At all of our future fans when we're super famous, somebody make an animation of Mara going na 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 na
All right. <laughs> well, we'll work something out. We'll work something out. What if? How about this? Uh, you You're guys. You're being southern. What? <laughs> you just said that in a, in a southern. You know what? I hang out with you a lot, Ripley. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm just looking at my list here that your the whole time this your code map name has been is Rachel down, Pepper, and that's why <laughs> Ripley's really Rachel from the south. Pepper. Anyway, go on. I just yeah. Um, what Rachel if Peppers. Mara and I go out and promote the concert, right? And nail down the venue and all that. All right. And you guys stay here and write the music. All right. I can come up with cool. plans too. Cool, cool, cool. We'll just write a whole fucking set in like three hours. That okay. sounds great. It's all right, Dora. We can just play like one song and then be like, ah, oh, that's it. Good night. Yeah, yeah, no, we just need to do one song. Okay, so I come on. I'm like, it's the Blink Dogs. Na 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 na. Blink Dogs. <laughs> and you all come on stage right. and you perform a song. Dora can pick the song. And that's it. That's the show. I look at Angelica and Hanalore to see what is happening with them. <laughs> just, I don't know, like, they're not what do listening. they think of this conversation? <laughs> they're not listening, they're just talking to each other about wow. stuff. Alright. Angelica's telling Hanalore how bread is made. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so then you put the yeast in. Pointing at the different foods on the plate, be like, yeah, so these are uh, scrambled eggs. And so eggs come from, like, animals. And Hannah is like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> She's so stupid. I love her. All right. Well, that sounds fun. Have fun promoting. We'll see you later. <laughs> Where I was like, yeah. Puts on rockabilly All right. stuff. Goes Come out on. of the town. Betty Monroe. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, no, but legitimately the one thing that Mara does is, because we don't have to go through the whole thing. The one thing that Mara does is like, hey, gobble. Goes to Gavel's bar. It's like, hey, Gavel, tell everyone there's a concert yeah. tonight and aliens will be there. <laughs> yeah. I'm on it. <laughs> and then remember you had all those flyers. Yeah. So. And I just, like, hang them up. Yeah. I hang them up around the Yelp. Concert page. tonight! <laughs> Didn't they just say, like, the Blink Dogs were a band or yeah. something like that? <laughs> yeah, and then Mara gets up on the Yelp a stage real and band. Like, That's concert what they tonight! Said. The Blink Dogs! A real band! <laughs> Playing a, our first single! Anyone coming? Yeah, no, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, great. See you there. We'll think about it. It takes all 15 minutes. I just, I want. Mara comes back. I, I did want, it. I want Jennifer Lestrade to be in the audience being like, ooh, what a nice, I'm going to write that down. Yeah, no. <laughs> nice Jennifer, Jennifer Lestrade was just She does not nothing. recognize you at all. Wow. All right. Okay. What's happening here, Dora? Our first single, I mean... I did just tell Nicole about the fact that I wrote a song yeah, I by know. Dora. Well. So. I don't know. I thought I you should, said it I had to be later, either. though. I feel like it has to be later, but yeah, it does have to be later than this. That's fine. But anyway. Um, I know a song. What? I know a song, too. It's called Dusty Trails. <laughs> Okay, that was what no, I was No, go thinking. ahead. Um, I was saying, I thought of a song, You Ain't Nothing But a Blink Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much! I, <laughs> you ain't nothing but a blink, blink dog. dog. Cry all, all the time! time. <laughs> I love it! You ain't nothing but a blink, blink dog. dog. Cry all the time. Blinking all the time. Blinking all the time. Hound dog lyrics. Okay, blinking all you the time. You ain't ever caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. That's perfect. Well, they said you was high class. Well, that, that was, was just, just a lie. lie. The bad thing is we can't have Ingrid singing with yeah, us. Yeah, I know. Because it's going to be off timing. And Dora's our lead singer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah she sounds just... so broken up about it. <laughs> we'll just have to record a whole album, I guess. Yeah. I like the idea of we do the first song, which is all of us just... Singing, you ain't nothing but a blink dog in a ridiculous way, and then Dora sings like a real song. A real and then song, we leave. yeah, yeah. That works. That's okay. Cute. Let's do it. Do we have to roll um, something for this, Shannon? <laughs> well, I don't think you need to roll anything to prepare for it. Um, okay. You, but this is your plan. So, so are you ready to just yeah, skip I to mean, the concert? <laughs> 
Look, no, okay, let's let's say Man, we do some, school of like, rock, this took a lot longer. You know, we could do some sort of training, sort of figuring out how it's going to, you know, look like at least um, <laughs> Peggy knows how to play the drums and stuff. Um, and I guess we're all doing the, the whole ain't nothing but a blink dog, etc. And then Dora is just like kind of needling in a corner. And that can be like, that can be like, oh, she comes out at the end and does the thing and people are like, oh my god. Like, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Cool. But, yeah. Okay. All right. Concert okay. time. Concert time. None of us know how to play instruments. Okay. Let's go. So I guess I'm going to they... have everybody roll a performance check. That's well, right. okay. Marty and Mara aren't part of the performance, right? Right. But what, like... Did they manage to get us, like, a venue and stuff? Or? Yeah. So they got, um, the tavern. Oh, uh, they just which got Which tavern? Wendy Willows or not Chuck E. Cheese's? Um, I don't know. I don't remember which one Gavel works at. He works at not Chuck E. Cheese's. Okay, so you guys got not Chuck E. Cheese's. So the more adult tavern. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess, uh... Also, we're probably not smart to go back to Windy Willows yeah. after what went down there last um, time. So I think Gavel and probably Marty and Mara helped Gavel set up. Sarah, would you say that's correct? Yeah. Yeah, so you like moved, uh, probably put a bunch of the tables like up against the wall. Oh, it's happening in the tavern? Oh. The, oh, is that happening outside the tavern? I thought I it was know. happening on the Yelp stage. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Oh yeah, the Yelp stage. Yeah, I forgot about that. So it's on the Yelp stage. Uh, which I guess you is forgot about it from tavern. five minutes ago when she was yelling yeah. from the Yelp stage. Uh, well, you didn't say we're gonna do it on the Yelp stage. Okay, okay. so on the Yelp stage, um, so yeah, so okay, then Gavel helps you like set up chairs and stuff. Um, but you don't need to set up any equipment, I guess, because we have I, you have none except for <laughs> Dora. <laughs> I have Dora's all my existence. shit. I mean. I mean, yeah, but... I don't bring the bagpipes out. I give one of them my steel pan. Yeah. And I say, just hit these two notes and these two notes and no other notes. So you Sarah, teach you Angelica to do that. You can be um, um, one of the girls. Then, uh, yeah, so you guys get there at, like, sunset. Um, I don't know, Mara, do you do any sort of intro for them? I'm just, uh, yeah, I do the... Once, like, I the crowd the, has kind of started... There's I a few the, people there. I'm know? like, hey, guys, crowd. welcome to the concert. Thank you all for coming. I'm glad you saw the flyers. Woo! I want to send the gavel. And anyway, no further induction needed. Here are the Blink Dogs. Blink Dogs. Yeah. 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 Okay, so yeah. let's have everybody performing. Roll a performance check. All right. Oh, God. Sarah, oh, you're not boy. performing. Oh, that's right. I am not That performing. was a 12. Plus? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 12. I feel like Ingrid is not with the the concert storyline, and I'm sorry. No, I'm into it. I'm into it. <laughs> so uh, Hannah Laura rolled a 10, and Angelica rolled a 12. So we all did um, pretty medium, pretty aggressively I, medium. I mean, well, yeah, that's the thing. So I rolled a 28. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what's going to happen. So what? we're going to do our song, and everybody's going to be like, what? Okay. And then Dora comes out and performs, and everyone's no, no, going to no. love so it. So you guys are going to be like, no. what? You're, you're medium. They're you're, like, okay, I mean. Yeah, you're like, you're like teenagers performing So So ball. let me yeah. paint a picture with my words, Sarah. <laughs> It's not your words. Okay, so you guys stroll on stage, and um, Dora (laughs) just has this stage presence that everyone can sense, and it's just like, wow. And then then Hannah, Laura, Angelica, and Ripley are also there. (laughs) And you guys step up um, to, I guess there aren't microphones. Nope. Um... But you. But the Yelp stage is good acoustics. Yeah, it's, it's good Yelp acoustics. Stage. Um, there's some like uh, what's it called? Those things that you talk in megaphones. Some like megaphones on the edge of the stage. Wow. You know, um, to amplify the sounds. Uh, so 
And then you guys sing, You Ain't Nothing But a Blank Dog. We do that. You ain't nothing but a blank dog, blinking all the time. You ain't nothing but a blank dog, blinking all the time. And then Dora sings. Yeah. What are you gonna sing? I feel like I I I feel like I could sing this song. I mean, it's a great we song. We were just talking I'm, about I'm, it yesterday. I was literally talking about it yesterday. And you can get all of our live reactions to it if you just sing it to us now. Okay, I can sing it to you now. I haven't figured out quotes for it. But. That's fine. Okay, so everybody applauds for. First song, Blank Dog, and they're like, okay, yeah. cool. Um, is well, that it? Okay. You know? And then Dora steps up center stage, and I guess everybody just steps back. Yeah, um, we all just kind of And step we, back we and all watch. just look up to see Dora's 28 performance. Yeah, I feel like it's like Dora just, like, they stopped this. Like, we did nothing but a Blink Dog, and it was like, okay, whatever. And Dora's been like the whole day, like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Oh, like worrying because it's School of Rock, baby. <laughs> um, the clouds in the sky part just enough for one shaft of moonlight <laughs> to fall on oh Dora as she steps forward. So good. I sit on like a stool. With the my crowd guitar. falls silent because they're like, ooh, what's gonna happen? Oh my happen? god. Um, Even okay. the crickets don't chirp. Uh, this is gonna make me. I'm having like stage fright in front of. Wait, me wait, 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 right wait, wait, wait! Everybody stop. Yes. What level is this? Are what? you gonna cast a spell? Yes, I am. Because what Dora oh needs right now is help with her 28 performance. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I just want to do it because okay, I haven't buddy. done it. What can you do? I'm gonna cast Sky Right and just write the blink dog. Yes. <laughs> Very That's good. it. That's all I did. So behind the stage in the Just sky. Just the words like appear in the, the sky. Blink the blink dogs. Blink dogs. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, wow, yeah. Okay, that's it. That's all I wanted to do. Sing! Okay. I'm going to sing this song for you guys. Okay. This is the first verse. <laughs> okay. I am aware The way your eyes change when you're tired of listening to me talk that you'd never tell and i know things might change but if this wagon crashes maybe we could walk and i would lift you on my shoulders just to keep you safe and you're the wish i never would have thought to ask for i hope that that's okay and i don't know where we stand but we're standing we might not make that change but winds are changing i don't know where we'll end the gates of hell or the promised land and i'm not sure who we are but this is something to me that's the, the end of the first chorus there you go i'll give that to you yeah. Woo! it has another verse but i can't that's that <laughs> i can't right <laughs> um dora sings that <laughs> and everybody's just like yes oh my it's god the blink like dance <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's that moment in a completely like you know random like 
fantasy thing or whatever where they just sing a pop song and yeah. no one knows how that happened but cool <laughs> mm-hmm. i'm looking at the list of your guys's names and dora's name is karma kelly <laughs> karma Woo! kelly, karma kelly! <laughs> she's a disney pop star some of the audience is like give her a solo act <laughs> <laughs> Dora just, Dora, Dora just, like, kind of nods and goes, okay, bye, thank you. <laughs> she Woo! literally, like, finishes and goes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, there's just, like, a solid two minutes of Shuffle applause. Everybody stands up, and it's just like, that was the ma- best concert at Fairgate ever. Dora. This is way better than the Tapestry <laughs> School of Rock. They didn't roll 28 <laughs> in that. When, um... When, Mara no, gets when Dora up, gets on stage, was like, she's just thank like, you guys so much for coming. Uh-huh. We really appreciate the support. Y'all have a great night. We'll be Bye. on tour. We're going on a whirlwind tour. Not sure the dates and places yet, but we'll have signs up. I'm just imagining that, like, two years into playing this game, <laughs> You guys finally find your way, and it's, you know what, we're just going to be a band instead. <laughs> and then everywhere you go, you're like, yeah, and then we do a concert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we tour. find the object, we fight a wolf, but then we do a concert. Yeah. Yeah. No, when Dora comes off, she's, like, blushing, like, so much, and she's just like, okay. Backstage at the yellow stage. On. No, no, shit, you guys were really good. I'm really, like, proud of you. For doing the stuff. Marty's like, yeah, that's my mom! <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> thanks, son. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you guys did the concert. We did it. <laughs> for really cool. no reason except to do a concert. We just wanted to yeah. do a concert. So you guys have possible deniability. Now we're a real band. So you guys are um, backstage. Makes us stealthy. At the Yelp stage, which I think is really just you're behind the Yelp stage. I think we should get a bonus on all stealth rolls now, Shannon. Because we're a band and no one suspects us, so it's stealthy. (laughs) Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, (laughs) That means yes. Um, Can you guys give me a name for a new character? Um, Does this character have a gender? Yes, it is a man. Oh, I was about to say Ariana. Well. Ariano. (laughs) It could I mean, be Ariana. It could just be called, I don't know, Ariana. Grande. Ariano. <laughs> Ariano. It's Ariano Grande. Ariano Grando. <laughs> and, uh, That's not how Italian works. Grande is already masculine, but it's fine. Grande. His name's just Ariano. Grande is uh, plural. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys are just backstage, you know, calming down after your awesome concert. I mean, really, Santino just Dora's awesome Fantano. concert. You guys were also there. <laughs> And um, this uh, guy comes back who was in the audience. Um, he is a tiefling. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, I know. And I know I've like said before that like you don't tend to see a lot of orcs at gnomes. Mostly it's like so mostly the kind of people you see are humans, humans and elves, elves and, and dwarves. Um, but this is a tiefling. So you very very rarely see tieflings. Um, wow. So he is um, all red. He's got some like. Horns for listeners who maybe don't know what tieflings look at, uh, like. Uh, you can Google it. Um, they, they look like devils. Yeah, they look like demons. Uh, but he and he has kind of like green eyes, and he's got like a goatee. And he's dressed very nicely in like a black suit. Uh, okay. So he he doesn't he doesn't approach you threateningly or anything. He's just like, well, hello. Um, my name is Ariano. Uh. That was an excellent performance, um, uh, Blink Dogs. Right. Thanks, guy. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm actually here on behalf of my uh, mistresses and master, uh, the Hearts, uh, from Wolfwater, uh, and they would like to invite you to a party at their home. Uh, the Hearts. The Hearts, yes. Uh, H A R T. Would you guys like to roll a history check to see if you know sure. who the hearts are? Yeah. Where is my thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I didn't do anything. I got a five. Okay, so Ripley doesn't know. Ripley definitely that doesn't know. That makes sense, though. 
Give me a second. I don't have my marshy open. <laughs> I feel Sarah. Sarah. I'm not rolling anything today. <laughs> okay, so okay. Ripley and Dora don't know, which I mean makes sense because they're from the hearts live in wolf water. So. Uh, 18. Okay, so, uh, Mara, you've actually heard of the hearts. Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> why do you just automatically assume suspicion? Because <laughs> you're a bitch. Um, and Marty also knows who the hearts are. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Ariana was like, uh, I'd like to invite you to a party on behalf of the hearts. And, uh, I think Marty's instantly like, Those brats? <laughs> <laughs> So the hearts, you would know, Mara, uh, they live in the Underdark, which is the uh, elf realm beneath Wolfwater. Um, and they are a very well-to-do elvish family. Um, they are a set of triplets. You've are never they? met them before. Mm -hmm. um, but you know that they are very uh, powerful beings in the like dark elf world. Do they hang out in creepy cloaks and follow us around? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, do you? Uh, so Ariana <laughs> continues to explain. Um, yes, well, uh, they have been um, sort of watching you for a while now. Um, mm -hmm. They, they yeah. witnessed some of your uh, good deeds at the Festival of the Sheep. Um, uh, and, and is it pardon? Uh, yes, they... they uh, We've they're... never been to any Festival of the Sheep. Right, We've right, of course. Uh, they they were very impressed with uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Marty's sword fighting, uh, and and they they were very impressed. Uh, Miss Violet Hart uh, witnessed Violet. some of your uh, uh, dealings with that wolf last night. Uh, she was quite impressed, and and, and then of course this excellent concert. Um, <laughs> Ariana, <laughs> I know he's like. Semi evil or whatever, but I, I kind of love him. I never said he was evil. You don't know that these people are evil. Concept. They've been following us around being creepy. So they're just creepy. Okay. Um, I mean, from certain points of view, Mara is evil. This is true. Well, yes, so uh, they would like to invite you to the, ho uh, the parties in about a month's time. Uh, here is the invitation. Um, and he hands you a card. Uh, a month? Yeah, they're yes. party planning really far out. I'm not saying this. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> um, so the card. So actually, no, I'm not gonna make it a month. I was originally gonna say a month, but I'll say two weeks. Uh, in two weeks. Uh, and on the card is like the address. Um, I don't have a specific address for it, but it's in Wolfwater Underdark. Uh, and probably like 5 p.m. on. A day in two weeks' time, <laughs> whatever season of the year it is, summer. Cool. Um, maybe like, man, what month would it be by now? June? Mm. Um, I think, yeah. Yeah, around June. That's, Fantasy uh, be June. Fantasy June. Um, December. <laughs> December. Uh, yeah, so uh, he hands you this invitation um, and he's like, and, and just to be clear, only the. Uh, the four, the four who dealt with the wolf. The, these two young ladies seem very sweet. They were very fine in the concert, but uh, they are not invited. So. All right. Wow, well, yes. rude. I mean, that's not Mara saying that. That's serious. I don't actually that. say anything. Actually. Uh, everyone who was present at the Festival of the Sheep, because that is when you're so impressed. My mistress is in my master. Yes. Oh. Do you have any uh, questions? Anything? Just want to make sure that everything's clear. Uh, it's yeah, my question is, yes. what the hell are you talking about? And also, piss off. Well, that was very rude. Um, <laughs> look, I'm sorry, mate, but, like, I, we don't know who these people are. Oh, no, you, of course you don't. Uh, they, well, they we're, just, we're just trying to get our band off the ground, so. Yeah, well, and they would be happy to help with that. Um, no, they, they like to throw these parties. <laughs> Keep going. I'm enjoying it very much. They like to throw these parties for, uh, you know, very, very clever people, very strong people that they encounter all over the world. They love to travel. And they just What's a strong to, person going to do at a their party? They're, well, they're going to eat dinner. So. I mean, is it a party or is it like, I don't know, some kind of gang thing? No, it's just what? a party. It's just a gathering. <laughs> Of like-minded people 
that's well we don't know. exactly know if we're like-minded to them do we so <laughs> well i suppose not uh uh i mean would, I'd you, actually would you like to know some they... of the other guests uh, no, I would prefer okay. if they would come and talk to us rather than you. No oh, offense to you, you seem whatever. Yeah. Well, if they've uh, been, like, watching us or something. So, uh, well, I believe that they were uh, packing up to go back to Wolfwater, but I can ask them if they would like to Sure, where are they? Talk to you. Oh, well, they've gone back to their uh, hotel. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, um... Uh, In Fairgate. Yeah. There's a yeah. hotel. There's a hotel here? Did they build it? <laughs> well, yes, actually, they did. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, like I said, I mean, they are we very well just, to do. It's we the Heartbreak Hotel. just pay them a visit, then. It's the Heartbreak Hotel. We can just pay them a visit. That's fine. Well, okay. Uh, would, would you like me to lead you there? Sure, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh just get into a fucking Is it Heartbreak stand-up. Hotel yeah, spelled sure. like heart? It's Heartbreak Hotel spelled like H I. H-A-R-T. Perfect. I mean, yeah, so can we, like, wave to Catherine, who is probably in the audience, yeah. and being very supportive, um, um, and ask her to take home our Peggy our and friends. Rose. Peggy and Rose. Yeah. Sure. Um, so she, uh, she accompanies Peggy and Rose back to the animal shelter. The crowd is dissipating now, and you guys follow Ariano back to the Heartbreak Hotel. Yeah. Um, Which must be very new, because I don't remember it. Yeah. Um, it's not a big hotel. You get the idea, maybe it just exists for these three to stay in. <laughs> More like a house. Um, Sounds like a vacation home. Um, but he but leads you there. No, that's in um, Crossroads yeah. City. Uh, he, he, he just walks in the door. He doesn't knock or anything, because he... You know, works for them. He's their butler. Uh, if that wasn't obvious. Uh, and he leads you inside to the, like, big kind of opening hall. There is, like, a front desk. Um, a front desk to their vacation home. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, well, one moment, let me go uh, find uh, one of the hearts and see if they're able to come meet with you. Um, and he leaves you in the hall for now. It's a... It's honestly, it's, it's a, like, entrance hall. It's not, like, a huge hall. It's, like, just kind of a small ho- hotel uh, front hall. But there, there's no one else there. There's no one at the front desk or anything. Weird. It is a hotel. But... <laughs> Are there any lemons on the counter that you no can lemons. take? No lemons. <laughs> like, Mara any, any three little lemons mints? on her at all times. <laughs> no food. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, so this is the first time Ripley has said anything since the concert. Okay. What is what like what what's happening? I got Mara's um, like so I've got both of my daggers, I've got my short sword, I've got lemons, cool, cool. like I'm That like, sounds good. You know, I'm good. I'll protect okay. you, Ripley. <laughs> Alright. Stra- um, excellent. Uh, Marty, you know these people. I mean I don't know them personally, they're just like bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Explain? Well, they just, like, think they own the Underdark when, like, they don't. Nobody uh. owns it. They, they just, like... I don't know them personally. They're just, like, bitches. <laughs> they're yeah. just, like... They're, like, these rich... They're the richest people in the Underdark. And, you know, money's okay. everything down yeah. there. Uh, and so they just walk around like they're the coolest people in the world. And they don't give a shit about anyone else. And also, they're, like, super weird, and it's, like, okay, I know that, like, I'm an elf, and we age, like, really slowly, and they're elves, too, but they don't, like, age at all. Like, I think, like, people say they've been around for, like, thousands of years. I don't know if that's true, Um, but they've definitely been around a long time, and they live in this spooky mansion in the center of the city, and, like, whatever. Um, they throw these parties, and I'm never invited. This is me, not Ripley. Did Mara ever tell us that she saw them following no, us? I Did she ever know. tell she us didn't. that she that there were emissaries from the letter? Like, didn't you read in the letter that... There yeah, were but I don't that... think Mara drew the connection. Okay. I can't remember if Mara drew that connection or not. Okay. And there's I no... think we did, but I don't know if yeah. Mara did. Yeah. Um, Mara definitely also, didn't tell Mara's, us. Also, Mara's, like, hasn't told you that they've been following you, but now it's obvious, so Mara doesn't feel a need to be like, yeah, I saw them at one point. Okay. Like, 
because there's nothing like there's nothing that would contribute. Right. Like we all. I was just making sure know. if I knew yeah. that they were in the ladder because then I'd be no. like, oh, they're like evil. Okay. No. Um, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't think Mara made. I think Mara might have like kind of been like, oh, maybe. But Mara was much more distracted by the, the knowledge of the silver, the whole right. silver self. Is there a possibility, Mara, that there would be people at this party that you are looking for? Oh, definitely. 127%. All right. Well. I want to go so that I can maybe find people to kill. All right. <laughs> okay. As far as examining her little skin tag on her knee. <laughs> I mean, Mara's not doing that. That's just me. I know it's just Mara's funny. just examining one of her lemons. Yeah, it's just like playing. With, she's like a Does Mara just like sit casually in what in a chair in the lobby with her lemons? Yeah. Her like, lemons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I? I feel very she's a single lemon. She's just kind of turning it yeah. over in her hand. I feel very stabs out a dagger of into it. All my girls are at Catherine's, so you don't have any girls. Ripley right now. basically feels naked. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just standing here like, well. <laughs> Um, I'm just a Ripley, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So after a couple minutes, um, the uh, Ariana uh, appears at the top of the stairs. This is kind of a small grand staircase. And okay. So like, is he gonna like introduce them? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, now announcing Miss Violet Hart. <laughs> and then he steps to the Wait, side. Wait, Miss what? Violet. Oh, we Hart. already said Violet. Yes. Okay. Um. And Violet Hart enters, and she is a uh, uh, dark elf like Marty. Um, so she has uh, dark skin and uh, some. She's got all white hair. Okay. Long white hair. Um, but like sleek white, not like old lady white. Yeah. Um, she's not an old lady. <laughs> uh, she's wearing all black and white. Um, oh my god. She's, she's wearing all black and white. Yeah. She's my got. Fashion. <laughs> yeah, it's like a black and white gown. Um, My God! And she's got uh, some a bunch of ear piercings, uh, very large pointed elf ears. Um, she has red eyes and some dramatic makeup and freckles. Okay. Um, and she appears. Freckles at the top are of the quite stairs. out of place. That's very yeah, funny. Yeah, well, she has freckles. Uh, <laughs> and she appears at the top of the stairs, um, and is like. Um, Oh, I didn't assign her voice because I didn't expect to be here today. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Um, hello, welcome to our hotel. Uh, Ariana says you wanted to speak to me and perhaps my brother and sister. Uh, I look at Dora. For deciding whether or not to come to our party. I really hope you can come. Uh, we, we really enjoy having people uh, over for dinner. Uh, I used to say having people for dinner, but people always kind of misconstrued that to be like, oh, we're going to eat them. No, we don't <laughs> eat people. Uh, we, just, we just give them food. Oh, no, she's cute. That's, that's Sarah. That's not Mara. Mara finds her creepy. All right. Um, uh, I just look at Dora. I mean, uh, uh, what, what do you want to do with us? Well, we just want to give you a uh, nice dinner. So we I just, mean, you know, we just like to just to ha- like to have some uh, people over. You know, I, I don't know we, what you've heard. Mara We're a band. People that we respect and admire. You know, Mara uh, go, just is like we just find it a little bit suspicious that you've apparently been been following <laughs> us for a while. I mean, we're we're just a band. You know, we weren't here at the sheeps festival but right right uh yeah uh well we we do we do love music um my brother in particular does love some good music so um i mean if if you would uh like to come and perform some music at the party uh, that would be very nice too that doesn't really explain why you are following us around well we we weren't following you we were just here in fairgate and you guys happen to come to fairgate quite a bit so we've just kind of after we first spotted you we just kind of kept an eye out for you you know Um, all right i mean why I just um, sent you guys a link to what she looks like. I've seen her before. I know, but she, she's the third one. <laughs> can I roll an intimidation? Sure. Oh my wow. god, Mara. Sean, baby. 
Um, I got a 22. Um, Mara bites into the lemon. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> As an Asian tactic. No, she doesn't say anything. She just does it. And I roll a 22. Alright, so Mara bites, bites into the lemon and it's super intimidating. <laughs> Violet just kind of looks alarmed and like takes a step back and is like, um, <laughs> I mean, you don't have to come if you don't want to. It just like, oh no, no, I'll come. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you really don't, don't have to. But. No, that's no, I'll come. Okay. Sounds like a, sounds like a fun party. Are your friends She's gonna really come? Or like no, just no, no. you. Friends, do you okay. want to come? Um, uh, I'll have to check my calendar. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I was, yeah, I was yeah. planning on probably going to Wolfwater anyway, so, you know, makes sense. We've got gigs booking up. Um, <laughs> what I'd really like to ask you I- about mm-hmm. is uh, your, like, politics. <laughs> politics? <laughs> yeah, just in in sort of, um, you know, ahead of dinner, because otherwise it can lead to some uh, awkward <laughs> conversations. <laughs> sure. No. Um, she takes a very dramatic seat in a chair and, you know, has her gown spread out. It's like, oh, I only well, have what, lemons. what would you like to ask about politics? I mean, uh, who are you, are you affiliated with anyone? No, we prefer to stay very unaffiliated. Okay, that could be cool or it could be really shitty. So... Well, that is um, an understandable viewpoint in this day and age. <laughs> right, right. What are your? I mean, what are your views on things? Just on the world. <laughs> yeah, and on how how the sort of socioeconomic um, situation is. Dora, are you ever going to meet a single person without trying to convert them to socialism? I'm not trying to convert her. I'm trying to figure out what her deal is. <laughs> well, uh, you know, it's it's hard because to... she's a fucking rich bitch. So I to kind of uh, talk about like the socioeconomic situations because uh, I mean I'm sure that you are much more uh, familiar with like Fairgate and with everything up here in the in the light. Uh, we are much more familiar with the Underdark, and so it's a little bit of a different environment, you know, a little bit of right. a different like social situation. Uh, okay. No, no, I, 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 I'm happy to answer your questions. I just, uh, you're not very specific. What do you think about, like, the war and stuff? Oh, we don't approve of the war. We are not big fans. I mean, what's your opinion? Why don't you approve? Well, um, the, we think that the, the queens are very quite silly <laughs> for getting into this war. I think that they, um... Well I, well, I know that uh, the Queen of Valencia is now dead, but uh, I, I think that she and the Queen of Carterton really just have some personal issues that they they didn't quite work out, and instead they I went mean, to war like, over were it. they exes or what? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, no, no, I think, uh, there's rumors, I mean, I don't, I don't know exactly, but, you know, something about, like, the, uh... Possibly the Carterton family stole something from the Valencia family, and Valencia didn't like that, but then they're like, oh no, we just want land, and that's also silly. I mean, who needs to own more land, you know? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I like, like her. her. <laughs> sometimes, Mara says, sometimes you need more land to raise more sheep. Well, that's fair, yeah. Um, Mara is like hashtag deep over here. Yeah. What are your true. feelings on sheep? Uh, well, um, <laughs> I don't know them personally. All right. <laughs> I don't know all sheep personally. <laughs> Have you ever we, met any sheep? Uh, yeah, yeah, I met sheep. I mean, we all right. We live in the underdark beneath Valencia. Uh, you know, I've met some sheep. Uh. I mean, we're at the festival sheep of cons. the sheep. Um, yeah, so. Did you see any cute ones? Yeah, uh, I liked, um, <laughs> party animal. <laughs> I met party animal! Oh, uh, yeah. She was real cute. She was great. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was, I, it, if I see, well, I've just blown my cover. I didn't say that, but in my mind, I'm like, they know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, 
Yeah. If I ever see Jeff again, I'll have to just... Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Anyway. We considered inviting him to the party, but... Uh, well... We actually kind of felt like his personal views didn't quite align with ours. In so. what way? I don't know, just a vibe we got. All right, well, um, it was nice meeting you. I, and... Oh, okay. Uh, well, we'll, we'll consider your offer. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll Does see Mara you. bite into the lemon um, again? <laughs> yeah, Mara just kind of just kind of like takes a takes a small bite. She's just like, like a sucking big, the juice out big of it. Fucking one that she took, you know, to intimidate with her twenty-two roll. Uh, she's just like, I'll probably be there. I mean, again, like you don't have to come if you don't <laughs> she's want. She's very to intimidated. Come. Um, I mean, we'll lemon. be happy to have you. Uh... I mean, I listen. I know that my sister would love to meet you guys. She's super busy right now, but um, yeah. Sure. All yeah, right. If I can make time in my busy, busy schedule. My sister's name is Mina. I don't think I mentioned Mina. that. Mina. Oh that my out. god! How dare you? <laughs> What's the brother's name? Chaucer. You guys did name them all. You gave me these names at some point. Chaucer. Wow. I think I named Violet. Now that Mina, I'm Mina, it. Chaucer, and Violet Hart. Wow. Well, okay, thank you guys for coming. I'm glad we could kind of have this talk. I, I really do hope to see most of you guys there. Um, I, I should go back to packing. Uh, yeah. Ariano can uh, kind of see you guys out. Uh, do you guys need anything, like any food or anything? We don't keep a lot of food in there. We're oh, I'm, cool. I'm done. We're Take care of women. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, I think <laughs> I'm you good. Were good. I've got this lemon. Um, well, have a good night. And then she just kind of sweeps back up the stairs. Okay. That was a good talk. I, mean, I don't know about you lot, but I really don't trust rich people, <laughs> but go off, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you know, capitalism. I mean, she seemed nice I don't know. I mean, she seems nice, I guess. Marty, will you go to the party with me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can dress up real fancy. Yeah! There you go, I got him. I All never right. get to go um, to these parties. Let's... Oh, I see. You're jealous. Go. No. Mm -hmm. Let's go mm -hmm. home and Mara figure out battle. what's happening. And we can. Okay. We can. Yeah. Mara is really Let's scary when you took a bite of that lemon. I know it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. While you guys are having that conversation, I step back and talk to Dora. <laughs> okay, so Ar Ariano okay. kind of like leads you out of the building, and um, it's like, do okay. you guys need uh, escorted back to the shelter or? That's find fine, thanks. We're all right. Thanks. Okay. So thanks. Fine. Have a great Thank night. You, you too. Thanks. Nice meeting you. And he steps back inside. Amara goes, so we definitely should leave Fairgate as soon as possible. All right. Well, yeah, we're planning on going to uh, Rio. Rio. Yeah. So. Let's do it. Oh, shit, guys. If we go to this party, you can meet my parents. Wow. <laughs> oh, I thought Dora was your oh, mom. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking forward to that, Marty. <laughs> they live in the Underdark. I haven't seen them in like 50 years. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'd be honored to meet your parents, Marty. Yeah. Are they terrible? Yeah. Cool. Want me to kill them? Oh, well, no. They're okay. not like that terrible. Oh, okay. They're, they're just like bitches. You, you just, yeah, you just <laughs> know. It's either okay or they have to die. You know, there's really yeah, no in no, between. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah. So, uh, how long have you been working on that song? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, it's kind of like a, a melody thing that's been, like, going around my head for a while. Um, but then I just sort of, um, had, had words for it. So, um, you know, they just sort of came to me. I don't really know, like, you know, what they, the meaning. It's just, you know, them words. Well, I'm glad that you feel that way about everyone. <laughs> feel what way? What? What? Just, I think that you like us. I think that you act like you, you know, you're hanging out with us and whatever, but you like hanging out with us. My fucking God. Yeah, of course I like hanging out with you guys. All right. You're cool. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. It was a nice song. Thank you. All right. Thanks. That's it. That's my whole conversation. Okay. <laughs> good talk. Good talk. Good talk. Um, all right. Uh, good episode. Yeah. Good episode. Good uh, talk. Thanks for listening. <laughs>
I like how episodes always end with these little talks. Either it's a it's a um, cliffhanger that I've made, or it's a little talk yeah. between you guys. Yeah. Um, donate to us on Patreon. Follow yeah. us on Twitter, Tumblr. Do all donate the to things. buy Mara more Subscribe lemons. I only have seven lemons. She only has seven <laughs> seven lemons yet left. Um, and she could. Those are gonna go sour. She eventually. couldn't possibly go somewhere and buy more lemons. Well, you we gotta go. Then we gotta go. Those lemons we are gotta gonna go. go bad, Mara. You've had them in your bag for like a month. <laughs> She, You're fine, they're so magic that, lemons. The real reason Violet was intimidated was when you were biting into a moldy lemon. No, and she was no like, they're fine. That's really <gasps> gross. Okay. No, the bag of holding lemon. keeps them fresh. Yeah. yeah. It's gotta be. Okay. It's, it's like a fridge in The Sims. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs>